Hi there guys, it's Max here. I hope you're doing well. I am super excited to announce the first week of the book club and that's the project that I started quite recently where I basically read a book a week and then I take you through my journey of the way I read it and what I take from it and uh, some of my reflections on the content of the book and then at the end of the week uh, you can decide whether you want to buy it or not. You can also buy it or get it, steal it, I don't know, in the beginning of the week and then we can kind of be reading it together. So I have, that's the thing, I have quite a few books uh, that I have read but I just don't remember the vast, vast, vast majority of the content which is, as I said, one of the reasons why I am starting this blog to actually become a part of what I read. Uh, but I decided that, you know, the first maybe few weeks I won't be revising any of the books that I've read just to make it, you know, nice and fair so everyone starts at the same level. So the book that I'm reading this week is this one, Shoe King by Phil Knight. And uh, I don't know how I haven't read it yet. It has been on my shelf for a while, uh, but I kept it for a good moment and I guess this moment has come. This is a book about Nike and about the founder of Nike, Phil Knight. And uh, I've read tons about this book online. Some of my peers and some of the people I look up to are saying that it's one of the best books about companies, one of the best memoirs of a businessman, which I enjoy quite a bit. One of the similar books in this genre is The Everything Store by Brad Stone, and it's about the origin and uh, kind of a uh, rise of Amazon to what it is. But I'm expecting this to be more of a personal take of Phil Knight, more of a memoir on what I, on what actually was going through his mind uh, and how he ended up creating, you know, one of the most iconic companies of all time. I'm a bit biased here because I'm a huge fan of Nike. I think they've played their game amazingly well in a very, very competitive environment. But, um, you know, they have me for life. They don't need to target advertise me, they don't need to, you know, cookie me, they don't need to even come up with those fancy ads, they don't need to sponsor any athletes. I think I am their customer for life and I'm hoping that this book is gonna take me through the mind behind actually making that happen. I'm just gonna read you a little blurb uh, from Phil Knight on what he was saying this book should be about, I'm guessing. Young, searching, fresh out of business school, Phil Knight borrowed $50 from his father and launched a company with one simple mission. Import high-quality, low-cost running shoes from Japan. Selling the shoes from the boot of his Plymouth Valiant, Knight grossed $8,000 that first year, 1963. Today, Nike's annual sales top $30 billion. In this age of startups, Knight's Nike is the gold standard and its swoosh is more than a logo. A symbol of grace and greatness, it's one of the few icons instantly recognized in every corner of the world. But Knight, the man behind the swoosh, has always been a mystery. Now, in a memoir that's surprising, humble, unfiltered, funny and beautifully crafted, he tells his story at last. So this is exactly what I'm looking forward to hearing his story from his perspective on, you know, how this... This is one of the things that um, that amazed me. The companies such as Nike, Facebook, Amazon, Google. These companies are the outliers. The, they're the creme, the absolute top of the corporate performance, the absolute top of governance and planning, macro and micro strategy, being able to pivot, being able to respond to scandals, being able to deal with the macroeconomic climate. So I'm very excited to give it a shot. Uh, I'm gonna be updating you all the steps of the way and I am really excited for the first week and uh, give me some room for experimentation here. I'm trying to understand what's gonna be the best format and how can I provide the most value. Please let me know in the comments how would you like to see this blog structured? What would you like to see from me? Is it gonna be, you know, kind of chapter by chapter over? Sorry, it's really hot today in London. Thank you very much and see you soon. Ciao.